Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Now your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much for being a part of the family. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey, you all know yourselves, and you're still here, manners and respect to the max. Now today we are going to be doing, I'm going to be sharing with you nice little, what we call them, uh, camera girl, a little um, appetizer they can be, then can be a little snack, yeah. We're going to be doing some ripe planting fritters. Ripe planting fritters. Maybe some people like Americans or Canadians want to say patties, but we are going to say fritters. Are we not fry patty? So, ripe planting fritters. Oftentimes, we see people do ripe banana fritters. Honestly, I've never done a ripe banana fritters. I'm going to be doing today ripe planting fritters. I have here two ripe plantains. They have been frozen, so I'm going to take them out and they are thawed. You want two of the most ripe plantings. And the plant is, you people say sweet plantings, let them be ripe until the skin becomes black. Yeah, it no really look appealing, but that is when the whole entire sweetness of the planting, you get it out. You want it to be definitely over overripe. So mine were overripe, and, and, and I peel them off and I freeze them. So if you have it fresh, you can take it and use it. And if you have some plantings and you see them getting like that, once you peel the skin and everything is intact, you can freeze it. So this is what I have. So you're going to be using your, I'm going to be using my potato masher. Because what I want to do, I want to mash them. So you can use whatever you have. So I'm going to be mashing them until I get them to a certain consistency. Also, I want them to be at a certain texture, I guess, consistency and texture. No, I'm not sure. So look at this. These are well overripe. You don't want to get those that are not overripe. It's not going to do the dish any good. Okay? So I'm going to go mash this, and when I return, you'll see how you must have yours when you're doing your ripe planting fritters. So come. Okay, now you want to mash it until it's long free. And family, sometimes... Yeah, you could have do it in a, your food processor or some other things where you mix it. But look here, sometimes we just need to go like some of them look old school here with the potato masher just to get things. Because sometimes when you do it like this, you get it the right way, you know? Yeah. And guess what? You get little exercise going on to you. So like me, I'm sweating on the AC. Yeah. So, you want to have it like this. And let me tell you something, family. These sounds knocking against... The container these are real kitchen they must sit happen even if you to watch our video and you see it make and I edit them edit it out but me not edit out no this is the real thing come in when you feel like say you you can get your thing done and when you knock it it not make the nice neither this is a real thing so we have filled with our potato masher now you want to put inside here some flour we are trying to get together the dry ingredients yeah may I treat it like a cake today Right planting fritters been treated like a cake in a Debbie Donga yard domain. So we're gonna put in some flour. Might you might want to leave a little more of the flour. We're not sure. In here, you're gonna be putting we have spice up this thing here. You know. I'm gonna put a little, I'll tell you in the description, don't worry. A little mixed spice. Yeah. And some people asking what is mixed spice. It's just a I'm um, just like a set of like because spices together we're gonna put a little cinnamon powder okay also you've got to put a little salt and look here no sugar no put no sugar in a it this ripe planting is at its is at its maximum level all the sugar natural sweetness it's right in there at this point. You battery was exhausted, family. Now we're gonna put a beautiful little thing in here. And all everybody was asking, is that the way I'm gonna 
not cover back up. This is what I have in there. Some nice black cake stewed fruits. Camera girl, shoot them up. You're shooting them up, camera girl? Okay. You tell me all if she shoot you up properly, if she shot you up properly. We're going to be taking about this in this nice little, not, not more than that. You don't want any more than that. If you have this on your cupboard, you put a little. If you don't, just put your regular fruits, like some craisins would be good. A little cranberries. You know what you want to put in there. Okay? So, what are you going to be doing now? Remember, we had in the flour, the mashed ripe banana, a little mixed spice, a little cinnamon, a little salt, and now we're adding this. So, what you want to do now? You want to come right here and you want to start, you know, get everything sort of mix up right here. So, okay? This is going to be so beautiful. I told your family. I'm telling you. Sorry. Okay, so let me take this out of the way. Come on, to know see what going right here. You have some milk. I may just have pure whole milk. I family, if you want to use some taste bad pop, look here. I bought a six pack of milk and I did not say, guess what? That's not me. I don't go healthy, not healthy talk, you know. Say a healthy milk. This when I come around here, nobody's having this milk. They are just all in the refrigerator. Nobody wants to, eat, to, to have them. Come on, girl, love milk is a shame. Nobody wants them. Choose the milk. Do your milk. You want to do healthy milk? Use your healthy milk. Inside of this is a milk here, whole milk. I have some of this nice yellow thing where you put it on my I don't know how to get it to you, family. I think it's in the supermarkets. But I think people are saying they can get it. You want to put a little of this little niceness in here. Not a lot. This is the yellow almond mixed with like, I think, almond and Mr. rose water. So you're going to put some vanilla also. This vanilla is not strong. And you want to dissolve it into your milk. Now, this is the liquid that you're going to use to put your fritters batter together. So you're going to spice up your milk. You spice up your dry tea. You're going to be spicing up your milk. Not going to throw all of it at once. And whilst I'm doing this and you're watching, just start to think in your head. If you're a person who are in at the kitchen, Diana, oh, why you talk to me about this, darling? Red art, I want you to talk to me about this, okay? So just try to picture, look at all that I've used, and just try to pick. Worse if you're somebody into baking, Bernadette V, talk to me, ladies, talk to me. Just try to picture all that I've used, and try to ask yourself this question What kind of combination? What kind of taste, what kind of flavor we are going to get? Let's proceed. So, we are going to be mixing. Remember, we are looking at fritters, like a fritters batter, okay? So you want to scrape around the sides, and you're going to get this color because of the, um, the plantings. It's more going to come like a slight yellow color. So you're scraping around, because you don't want a flour lump and all of that, you know, them something there, you know? Hmm? Right, you're gonna put a little more of your milk. Try not to put all, and don't worry about the amount right here. I will leave it for you in the description. Let us continue to get this all mixed in. You know, for cut and fold here, so you know, cause I, you know, we are get it more upon the what looser side, so you know, for cut and fold, you can do a little, you know, blending in. And it's quite evident we are gonna want a little more. And probably, we're not sure if that will do it. Let's just try to get a little, you know, cleaning up as we go along. So look here. I'm going to be mixing this in until we get it come to a, like, a more like a fritters. No more like. It is going to be on the fritters butter side. Okay? Let's try to mix it in. Try to dissolve it in. Family, don't worry about the length of the video. Each time you see me do fritters, you notice I do something like this. Is it? Okay. Now it is yours. I feel your bathroom, I feel your kitchen, I feel your sitting, I feel your everything. It is all yours. It's all yours. Your kitchen, your battery, your everything. So may I talk like the English that who is not understanding the patwa, but you know some of the chat the patwa. I feel your sitting. See? So Two more slaps. This is what it will look like at this point. You want to use your hands must be clean, okay? 
You want to taste now. I think I'm going to take a small pinch. Just a troops. A salt. Remember, you know, a lot of people say salt gives flavor. For me, I think salt blends flavors. For me, salt doesn't give flavor. Salt blends flavor. And a little bit can go a long way. And I think with that little, little pinch, I think I should be good there. I'm going to have a taste again, but I'm just going to do it. And this butter is good with the sweetness, okay? You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Now at this point, we have here one beaten egg white. And if yours is like, if your eggs are small, you beat two for the longest while I first may get that egg so big. Properly beaten egg white and we are gonna be folding this egg white into this mixture. Okay? You don't have to, but I think it will do a lot of good for this butter. So you're going fold in your egg white here you now. Beating, folding. I remember the cut and fold not really necessary in this mixture. This egg white will lighten the batter. You notice before we put in the egg white, it was a bit sort of like, you know, tight, even though it was loose, it kind of, you know. This egg white will loosen it also, whilst pour, um, beating it in, it will trap some hair to make your fritters come nice and fluffy. You who are doing saltfish fritters too, or any other fritters who are always asking about baking powder, I don't use baking powder in fritters, some people do, no problem. But you can use this in your saltfish fritters, but they will not become extra crispy. Because I don't use them in mine because I like my fritters crispy. But if you're a person that likes your fritters fluffy and nice and soft, because some people like it that way, you can use the beaten egg white or two, depending on the amount of butter. Right, okay? <clears throat> so when you do it, I'm for the all women do. Okay, family? And when you reach to this point, this is how your batter will look. The egg white has done a nice little set of wonders for it. Right on over here, you're going to be pre-eating. I'm pre-eating, Jesse. You need to use a heavy bottom skillet. The bottom are sitting for heavy. That means they won't burn easily. You're going to eat it, pre-eat it on the medium. Do not pre-eat it and I am put the fritters them in I too I and them all burn and them not get for cook with, with the um in right through. I'm gonna pre-eat Jesse on the medium and when we return we'll start dropping our fritters. Soon come. Okay now family, this is my thermometer. My hand over the eat as in olden days. This is my thermometer. I ain't got any. If you have, I'll tell you at what you're to temperature to eat your oil so you want to drop one of them look at something down in there and look at it so that is my thermometer you see so you want to drop these in like small amount you don't want to drop them too big you want to drop them like that and it doesn't matter if they stick to each other we can always pull them apart when they are properly fried so you want to drop them in the oil continuously we're gonna go finish drop off these and when we return, we'll show you at what pace you should be frying, okay? Soon come. Okay, now family, those are there and they are frying. And this is not fully deep fat either. So you want to have them frying at that pace. Camera girl, shoot them up on it for me. Okay, thank you. Put the camera for me now. You want to have it frying at that pace. Therefore, it will have enough time for the fritters to become about the red planting, you know. And if you want to put sugar, you're going to have a problem. But for me, this butter is good enough with the sweetness from the red planting. For me, you don't need no, 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 no sugar in this. It is good. We have tried it already. And it is good. So you want to have them fried at that pace. You don't want them to get too brown and them not cook. Okay? Look at this. As you notice, they are getting brown. So the heat must be low. So we are going to go fry them on one side. And when we turn them on the other side, you will see all them look. We soon come. Okay, now family, about two to two and a half minutes on each side. Remember, the plantings are in there. And there's the sweetness, there's the sugar. So you have got to know, that's why I said on the medium. 
medium depending on your stove because maybe you have to go like a little less than medium too depending on your stove so if you notice they are like bouncy you notice they are like spongy when you touch them they are like that okay because of the egg white that's what the egg white does okay so we are going to fry them and try not to prick them with the fork just use them to the fork to lift while it's turning from one side to the other okay see so this side we want to go a little more so we are going to finish doing them now do another batch and when we return we'll be ready to present to you soon come okay now family welcome back and this is our finished product and all i did was just use a little green and a little red cherry just to top it up just for presentation Can look here suppose you are uh, entertained and you are doing like this and like that and you what i am gonna fix for you would you like me to do a little version of a nice little entertaining like an entertaining set up a little table if you two or three like a best friend i come over and i go sit down and all a little vibes and talk yeah but you know we just do it so yeah your friend will just pull one take a piece of cherry eat and all of that and all of that from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is ripe planting fritters this is debbie dung a yard version you saw me i did it from scratch you please do enjoy now we have some left back here and if it's that you did it like me and you have some left back you can just freeze it in your nice little container put it in your freezer and this can go for up to one month in your freezer if you're in and are in a pre preparation mood you're prepping you can do this ahead of time and leave it in your refrigerator and then when you're ready you just pop it out leave it on your countertop to let it come back to room temperature when you freeze it take it from the freezer leave it into the refrigerator to thaw to come right back soft move it from remove it from the refrigerator leave it on the countertop to come back to room temperature remember when you freeze it and you're ready to use it remove it a few hours from the freezer to the refrigerator then from the refrigerator to the countertop to come to room temperature that way you get the best best product from it okay remember to do it that way once more please do enjoy now if you have liked this video remember to thumbs it up remember to make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey when you do subscribe remember to hit the bell that is what notifies you whenever another video is uploaded or when we are going live okay y'all and when you make your when you make your subscription hit the bell you get notified the videos have been released you watch them say what you want to say if you're first second or even sometimes third to say something in the comment section that is how you will become become a member of the post notification shout out crew or gang or what i prefer to say crew okay today's post notification shout out okay remember that all our contacts all the Zelle, the cash app and um, paypal my p.o box my whatsapp my email all of those are in the description or will be in the description of the video with the ingredients and all of that for this ripe planting fritters love you so much love you i can't emphasize that enough okay Debbie from Dollar Yard, bless, no stress.